so welcome guys to this new video and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use how to use shapes how to draw them how to customize them so let's start the first thing we're gonna start with is our rectangle shape so let's just delete that and like right at the rectangle shape name it like like you want like layer or something like rect shape let's give it a size so a vector we're gonna use a uh, the name space vector to f we're gonna use a float vector to float so vector to f and let's give it a size like 200 no let's make it just 100 i think 100 by 100 and let's close it with a semicolon now let's just draw it so window dot draw rect shape and let's just close the semicolon let's write it here windjw32 let's just write it again from zero windjw32 Make F make file. Then make the legacy. So as you can see here we have a rectangle, but it's not visible too because it's in the center. It's in the center of the SFML window. For SFML zero is here. Yeah, the zero position is here. And the origin of the square is not here, but it's here, like this. We can use something like why not like make it float and this like rect double the rect width and it's equal to like something like 32 no let's make it like 100 and let's let's just make a rect, a rect height so rect h so rect h is equal also to 100 and now here let's close it and instead of just writing this we're just gonna use a rect width and a rect height so let's just like make it like a rect shape so the position something like 200 by 300 and let's close it let's try to make a rect shape dot set origin to something like sf return to f here we're gonna take rect waddle rect width divided by 2 and rect height divided by 2 so let's close it now let's run it again and now we just change the position of the shape and also we set instead of setting the origin like in before we have the origin is here now the origin is in the center because we divided the size of the shape by 2 so now 
let's give it something like let's just do correct shape that set fill color do something like SF color something like magenta and let's close it control save and let's just compile it and we just changed color let's give it something like SF and uh, now that's SF let's just break shape dot set outline thickness to like 10 and let's close it then break shape dot set outline color to SF color time so now let's compile it again and as you can see we have an outline so let's draw something like this this is let's comment this this is a rectangle Turn and this and we're gonna draw an easier one like it's a circle circle so as if circle shape and let's name it circle and let's give it like a radius of 50 and let's customize it like circle dot Set position to something like 400. Now let's make it 400 by 400. And no, let's make it by 300. Same level. And let's just give it something like circle that set the color to something like SF color mm, something like blue then circle shape circle the fit let's just not set something like color or a shape let's give it a texture so we're just gonna need a texture so let's load something let's load this texture inside the circle so we're just gonna take this texture like this it's an it's a texture generated by AI so let's use it we're just gonna create as if texture and let's name it texture let's name it just texture then we're just gonna write texture so load from file and give it the path so let's just rename it to something easier like texture.png so texture dot G and let's close it. Now let's just make it like a circle. Circle the set to something like end. And we just close it. Because it's a shape we need to convert it to a pointer. If it's a sprite and not a shape, we can just use it normally. So, file it again. No, we did a draw here. So, we do. Draw. Circle. 
and let's compile. We don't have thirst. Yeah, everything we need. So let's make it a little bit bigger and see if the problem is fixed. No. Let's create a new folder called this and put it here and let's make it resolution texture. Pilot again, so now, as you can see, it's just a problem in the path. Let's make it bigger, like 150, I think, and save it and compile it again. As you can see, we have a circle with a texture. You can use multiple texture. Let's. Let's give it an outline, so circle, the outline thickness, then now let's just make it 5 here, point to your F and, and circle, the set, outline, color, something like SF, color, like blue, Let's make it red and close it and let's compile it again and let's run it. It's like a portrait. Let's make it a little bit smaller like a hundred. Now it's good. So I hope you like the video, in the next video I'm going to show you how to use input and how to move the shape or the sprite. So goodbye to another video.